A portion of this video is sponsored by Capital One Shopping. Good morning, friends. Welcome to an average day in my life in Paris. I have not had coffee yet, so I'm gonna begin with that because my brain cannot function without it. Check out my new coffee machine. Good morning, sir. Ready to get some visas? Ready to get some visas. What are we doing today? We're getting our visas for Ghana and Cameroon. Because we leave there in two days. Tommy and I are about to begin our first Africa season of filming. Uh, we filmed in Egypt and I've been to Mauritania before, but this is like we're going to four countries that we've never been to before in Africa. So that should be very exciting actually. But uh, the reality of traveling to many of these places is you need visas. And so we have to go to the consulates today and do a visa run. So I um, figured we would capture what our day looks like in Paris. I think a lot of people will find it interesting to see that a lot of the behind the scenes are not so glamorous. <laughs> like a day like today. <laughs> Let the day of adventure begin. Oh my god. Welcome to Paris. Oh my god. Should we just go take the motorcycle? Here you go, kid. Thanks, Dad. I look cool? Yeah. Okay. Somehow a bureaucratic step was quick. The hell? <laughs> Hello, and no, your screen's not actually broken. This is just a portion of the video that's sponsored by Capital One Shopping. Last week, while we were all in Paris, I overheard Amar saying, boy, I really would love to wear a velvet tuxedo to one of the premieres. So once I got back to LA, I searched the internet for a beautiful velvet bow tie. And thanks to Capital One Shopping, I was actually able to save a lot of money all while buying Amar a lovely bow tie. Hello, Habibi. Uh-oh. I know that you've been saying you want to wear a velvet suit for one of the premieres. I do. And thanks to Capital One Shopping. I only get gifts when they're in brand deals. All right. All right. What did well, you get? I got you a Aww. beautiful green velvet bow tie. Which means that if you got me a green velvet bow tie, then I'm going to need to wear a green velvet jacket. So, well, let's cut and hopefully you're wearing one smart. Capital One Shopping compares Amazon prices to the other competing retailers online and it automatically applies coupon codes for free. It's actually kind of genius. And also, the more you shop, the more you're rewarded with gift cards. And the best part is you don't even have to be a Capital One card holder to enjoy all these benefits. Look, I'm just trying to help you avoid paying overpriced for internet shopping, that's all. So get Capital One Shopping for free with a link in the description right now. That section of the video was sponsored by Capital One Shopping. And now back to a day in the life of both Thomas and Tommy in Paris. All right, next step. <laughs> Step. Getting, getting your birth certificate. Um, my birth certificate. <laughs> Hopefully it's just as fast. <laughs> they don't do it. <laughs> so this is a little bit of a good example of what can happen in France. You call and they say, yeah, come. And then you come and then they say, no, you shouldn't have come. And you needed to have an appointment. And then she goes, just insist. Maybe it'll work. Let's find out. Wrong building. Yes, you got it. <laughs> There's nothing that a smile and a puppy eyes can't, can't fix. We're not filmed inside this embassy. We're gonna go in, get our visa sorted. It'll be super easy, it'll take 15 minutes. Just putting it out there. Yeah, yeah. wow, amazing. It's gonna be boom, boom, boom. Here you go, sir. Welcome to our country. Well, thank you. Well, four hours later, we're done. That was a long process. I'm pretty frustrated right now. So, <laughs> so that has not been the most successful uh, day in Paris so far. A lot of people are confused. Not confused, but so many people ask me why I moved here. And uh, yeah, it comes down to wanting to be back in the city that, just as for you, has felt like home for a long time and reconnecting with my roots. Felt like my chapter in LA was over. How are you feeling with the time here now? Do you feel like you're still liking the city or? You like it more or you liking it less? I don't know, it's kind of hard to gauge. I feel like we've been traveling and doing so many adventures that's hard to establish a routine. I definitely don't have a routine whatsoever. I mean, 
We are going to Africa for a month, and we just came back from <laughs> Pitcairn, <laughs> the most isolated island on Earth. So yeah, we are jumping around quite a bit. The weird part about our lives is that no two days kind of are the same. Some days are when we're just editing and whatever, but there are these random days like this where, I don't know, we're just spending all day looking for visas, which is something that obviously you have to do. We're currently packing for our first trip to West Africa. In the meantime, our entire team with Yes There Is coming here to Paris. So I've decided to surprise them with a special guest and then we're gonna see if we can go surprise them while at karaoke. Nobody knows our lovely friend Connor is here. For many who have watched us for a while will know who Connor is. Those who don't know have not been watching us for long enough, so you should probably just unsubscribe and leave because... Yeah, you gotta go binge all the old, the old classics. Old classics. So Connor, you've been there at a lot of the more most iconic early moments <laughs> of Yes Theory. And so we're about to go to karaoke bar and surprise the rest of the team with this lovely man who has flown in from Ireland to join us. It's been a while. Getting excited. It's been like a year since I've seen you guys. Well, how many episodes have we done together? We've done many. We always joke that Connor's our lucky charm because every time Connor was, even if he was just in the background, the video went viral. <laughs> yeah, I so, think some of them were hilarious. Yeah. There was the Justin Bieber one. Yeah. There was the most boring town in America. So, that had to be like one of the, the adventures that just every single thing went perfectly. Yeah. Like if Everybody. I watched that and I didn't know us, I think we scripted it. Because yeah. it just went too perfect. Yeah. Like, it is funny, some people do think that we stage some videos because it just looks too perfect. Yeah. You know, there are moments where it just works out and you're like, are you serious? Thomas does oh, not yeah. fake his videos. Um, they're all the genuine and they have not been faked at all. I'll take that $100 now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so spontaneous. This is really good. Slip in $500. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here in Paris on my own accord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're at the bar. We have to hide. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I couldn't miss it. I have ah, to I'm so excited to see the rest of them. Oh my god. Isn't it fun to be to be the surprise? Yeah. <laughs> Who are the surprise? Yeah. We have a surprise. Uh -oh. No! Oh. 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 